evening, good morning, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining on this our weekly program on this platform. You know, good and I must say thank you, everyone, wherever you are watching from. Thank you for joining us. Those that are joining us from South Africa, Botswana, Namibia, Zambia, UK, Dubai, Canada, from wherever you are watching from. I want you to take this up. Tonight we are just going to be different. We are going to be praying. I've been praying for the whole week and I've been praying for some that have been joining me on my page. And we are continuing with prayer. It's a season that we are praying to God. Because it is only prayer that can override the devil. It is only prayer that can superimpose the will of God upon your life. It is only prayer that is able to open you up for the next level of your life. It is only prayer that can, down, that can download the vision of God in your life. It is only prayer that can uh, give you access into the heart of God. It is only prayer that can make God come down to intervene in the affairs of humanity. It is only prayer that... Whatever is in the mind of God concerning your community, your family, your job, your people, your nation, it is only prayer. It is when man cries out to God that in response that God becomes down. It is when prayer is deployed that God will come down. Prayer is one of the prayer is a system in the kingdom of God that authorizes God to act on your behalf. So tonight we are going to be different. Tonight we are going to be praying. Those that are, we are going also, we also have a program from, from Monday to Sunday where we, are, where, we are, where we will be praying from 9 p.m. Zimbabwean time to 10 p.m. Zimbabwean time. It's just an hour with prayer. Jesus says to his disciples, you could not be, you could not stay with me just for an hour. Meaning to say the minimum expected time for anyone who is serious about their life, who, who, anyone not being a pastor, an apostle, a teacher, or anybody, anybody who is serious about their lives, the minimum time that Jesus will expect you to be in prayer, at least an hour. So we are going to be in prayer for the next for the next hour. And after that, I'm going to be praying for people. And after that, I'll be going to be praying for people. We have been dealing with, with a lot of things from, from, from the from um from the last, from this week, from the first of this week, and 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 we are going to be continuing the next week from Monday to Sunday. We'll be dealing with destroying the powers of witchcraft in your life. There is a lot of gross ignorance in the body of Christ concerning spiritual warfare. This is why we've got so many people that are frustrated in church, even though they are praying, they are fasting, but they've never been told how to attack the enemy. Concerning what they are going through as much as they know scriptures, but the scriptures seems not to be working for them But today we want to pray. I want you wherever you are to join me in prayer If you are in your office, you are in, at home, you are in church, find a way that you are going to be praying We need to pray. We need to pray. The Bible says according to the look The Bible says, according to the book of um, Luke chapter 18, verse 1, Jesus teaching his disciples, he says, men ought to pray always. He taught them a parable. He taught them a parable that had to do with prayer. Not that men should pray when he feels like praying. Not that men should pray when he's happy. Not that men should pray when he feels like. But men ought always, ought always to pray. I want us to pray today. I don't know what you are going through, but today I want to help you with prayer. So today we are not going to do a lot of things. We are going to be praying for the next hour. We are going to be praying. There are things that are happening around your life and you do not know. You are about to give up. But I want you to know that you can deploy God into your situation. You can deploy God into that marriage. You can deploy God into that job. You can deploy God into your, in, in your sickness. You can deploy God in any area. God is at them. God is only waiting for you. The Bible says, call unto me, call unto me, call unto me. Call unto me and I will hear you and I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things that you know not. There are a lot of things that are happening in your life that you have no clue what is happening. 
And God is saying, you may not know what is happening behind the scene unless you call. And the fire of God is able to expose every enemy behind the scene. We want to pray right now. I, I, I was teaching people last this week that whatever is happening to you right now, that you are going through right now, there is a power, there is a personality, there is a man, there is a woman that is behind the scene. Unless that personality is disengaged, unless that personality is exposed, power it is arrested you remain there crying but we need to rise up as an army of God through prayer and begin to enforce and to superimpose the will of God concerning your job, concerning your marriage concerning your children, concerning your, 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 your everything around you, concerning your business the Lord has to arise and your enemies will be scattered how many are ready for prayer? kala mana koveniakus Igala baba bose kim antala baba bose jemena kovena talabia kusala bahasu Amen are ready for prayer tonight as we pray. Some of you are going to see your enemies in your dreams. Some of you have treated your, yet there are people that you have treated as friends. They have come to you as friends, but they were, but they were carrying an assignment to bring you down. There are people in your life. There are people that you are playing with. There are people in your family that are responsible. You may not believe me. You may not believe there are any other apostles. But if you are a Christian, at least the one thing that you can believe in are the words of Jesus Christ. The people that saw Jesus Christ, it is Judas. Judas was one of his disciples. Not only that, he was, one, he was his cousin. The people that sold Samson to the Philistines were his family members. The people that betrayed, the, that, the, the people that betrayed a lot of people in this life, they are, and Jesus comes to say that your enemy, are, Jesus says the enemy of a man are from his household. So we have what we call household wickedness. Household wickedness. We want to arrest every household wickedness. Whatever is responsible for your downfall, whatever is responsible for your misfortunes, unless you, you do, unless you have access to it, unless by revelation God reveals to you that you see what you're going through. There's a man in your life, there's a woman in your life that you have treated as a friend, but unknown to you, they had an assignment in your life and you gave them every information that they needed to destroy you down. Some of you, you were destroyed by your friends to your husband and in turn, your friend took your husband away from you. You treated them as friends, but they were never friends. They had an assignment over your life. We pray to them by the power of the Holy Ghost. Any personality, any individual behind the scene, behind your affliction, behind your case, as we pray today, let them be arrested by fire. 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 Every witchcraft power from your foundation, every wicked, every household wickedness up in your life, we are arrested. We are arrested in the name of Jesus. 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 Fire on every enemy. Fire on every enemy. Rakete kete. Jale para. Mana mekoska da. Rebele dila antela bababo sakosa. Jale bababo. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. Say every house of wickedness. As we pray today. Be arrested by fire. 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 By fire! Hey! Le kaba asusha. E makabra dosa kima asusha. Le kina hande a parako sakata. That sickness arrested. That sickness arrested. That sickness arrested. Command it out of your body. Command it out of your body. Flash it out by the blood of Jesus. Flash it out by the blood of Jesus. Flash it out by the blood of Jesus. As we pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, I flash out every sickness in your body. 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 Let it be flashed out by the power of the Holy Ghost. 
Lekina ansa baba de raka baba baba do jeke be 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 zale ke ba zale mandia kila baba bo santo mereko vanyo mina anta la baba bo sa jere be 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 rata tata ko riga baba ba sala baba ba retete rako 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 jale baba baba ba raka baba ba raga daga da raga daga da every house of wickedness catch fire catch fire Get fire, get fire, get fire, get fire, get fire, get fire. The name of Jesus. Unless you pray, that situation will not change. Stop complaining. God has given you the power. It is a mystery of prayer. When we pray, there's a shift that happens. When we pray, there's a shift that happens. When you pray, you become pregnant. When you pray, you become pregnant of miracles, of breakthroughs. And you need to travail. You need to push in prayer. You need to push in prayer. Unless you pray, you will not move from that situation. I pray that by the Spirit of God, the Lord will review the personality the individuals, the people that are behind your case, the people that are behind your downfall, may the Lord expose them tonight. By hey, hey, this prayer, those that have been following me, they know. People are seeing their enemies, and it is not only enough to see them. When you see them now, you know what to do. You know how to deal with them. The battle is not physical. The Bible says, though we walk after the flesh, but our weapons of warfare, they are not carnal. They are mighty in God to the pulling down of strongholds. May every stronghold in your life be pulled down. May every stronghold in your life be pulled down. May every stronghold in your life be pulled down by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Lago Tell your friend, invite your friend. As we are praying, as we are praying, I want you to share with others. As we are praying, there are people right now, you do not know what to do, but they have come with good news. If you join me tonight as we pray, tomorrow, tomorrow by tomorrow, your life will change. It is impossible for you to meet God and remain the same. Never. It is impossible. You can't meet God and remain the same. I will show you something. Kalina koba sakosa la baba bush yeke mana mahasu vada hasosh i la bahaso li kaba baba bush sakus imani akurekego pray 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 laga baba 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 raga daga da raga da raga da raga daga daga da rebebe rakus raku raga da raga daga da raga da baba raga daga da raga daga da raga daga da raga da raga da raga da riga baba baba raga daga baba baba riga baba 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 riga 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 baba baba rato 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 rebebe bebe bebe riga baba Riga baba, riga baba, raga da da do, jege be be be, riga baba baba. Rade, 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 riga baba 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 baba, riga baba baba, riga baba baba. Ridi da baba. Hey, as we pray, every house of wickedness, it is it is catching fire. Every house of wickedness, it is catching fire. In the name of Jesus. Mana mana mahasuva hasish, leko mana ando. Babosa, le bracosa, le gababosa. Whatever is responsible for what you are going through, if you cannot identify it, you will never. I'll tell you something. Everything that is happening to you that is making you cry, it only means that the power is than you. And you need to introduce another dimension or another power greater than what is afflicting you. And that power, it can only be generated in prayer. Kalababus, Liga Bababus, Liga Bababus, Raga Bababa, Rade, that sickness, that sickness, that sickness has to go, 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 Jababa Baba, Liga Bababa, Liba Bababa, Rato La Bababa, Riga Bababa, Rato Lege Debo, Jala Bababa, Riba Bababa, Riba Bababus. Wose akatora zitara ako, akanyanaro kunganga, 
akataura mashoko akanze zvakanzi no matter where you go it's life I want you to pray. Say wherever you have taken my name, I visit by the Spirit of God. Any shrine containing my name, my marriage, my children, my job, my certificate, as I pray, let that shrine command, let that shrine catch fire. Let that shrine catch fire. Wherever my enemy have gone to consult against me, I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost. Whatever they have inquired of, whatever they projected to me, any arrow they have sent to me, let it be fire by fire. La baba radush, liga baba bu, ratele baba, jema mama nusa, ila baba 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 nusa. Someone today, you have gone, you have went to school, and the purpose of going to school, you wanted your life to change, but they've made it a point. That no matter where you go, you the end result of it, whatever you do, the end result must be failure. I want you today to say, whatever the devil meant for your evil, whatever the devil meant for your destruction, may the Lord use it for your good. The Bible says, and Joseph said to his, to his, to his brothers, you meant it for evil, you meant it for evil, but my God has turned it for my good. Whatever your wishes, whatever your enemies have trapped you with, may the Lord use it for your good. In the name of Jesus, Laga Babarus, Liga Babade, Rato Laga Liga Babado, Salababaso, Imana Mana Mahando. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I want us to read the scripture from the book of Acts, chapter 12. Now, about that time, he wrote the king's stage for his hands to vex certain of the church. And he killed, and he killed James, and he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. Huh? And he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further, Ayakabados, to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quintillions of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Peter therefore was kept in prison. Huh? But prayer, but prayer, but prayer was made without Season of the church unto God for him. And when the Lord would have brought him forth the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison. And smote Peter on the side and read, saying, Arise up quickly, and his chains fell off from his hands. I want you to pray today. John the Rod, Wakatamba Nuta Mauka Aki, Dog Bata James, Dog Muraya, Paka Uraya James, and Jack Aka Wanda with Jaka Fazavan.
to say this one that we've done this system and that's visa we want to go further any person behind the scene any road after your case any king that is after your case any demonic that was pleased by your situation that you are going through today and it intends to intensify what is doing what it is doing against you i declare for you may it be scattered by fire may the may the lord tonight as we pray may he send an angel to deliver you may he send angels to deliver you may the angels of deliverance be sent to deliver you any personality with an assignment over your life, any personality who is after your head, any personality who is after your blood as we pray today, let them receive the judgment of God. Let the God of His vengeance descend upon them heavily by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray every Herod after my case, every Herod after my life, every Herod after my family, every Herod after my children as I pray, be arrested, be arrested, be arrested, be arrested. Be arrested, be arrested of God ever since the days of the John the Baptist. The kingdom suffered the violence. It's not every child of God that is going to be delivered, it is only those that have mastered the art of fight. The art of the art of spiritual warfare. Those that are going to say you wrote them, wakabata my wangu, wakabata siswango, but not my head, but not my children, but not my husband, but not my children, but not my job. Yes, you stopped my fathers. Yes, you stopped my sister, but you are not going to stop me. I am unstoppable. But you can. These are not emotionals. You do not act from an emotional platform. You act from a platform. That there are legalities and rules of engagement that you can deploy, and one of which is prayer. The Bible says when Peter was arrested, then the church prayed, it offered prayers unto God without ceasing, and an angel was released to assist Peter. I pray for you that the day they have marked for your downfall, may the Lord release an angel to make you escape their snare in the name of Jesus. It can be your it can be your relative, it can be even the people that you trusted, but they've got an assignment over you to destroy you. Today we pray. Whosoever is being paid to monitor you, any altar in your father's family that is acting as a rotter in your life. May it catch fire, may it be teared down in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. But the assignment of the devil is to say, last month, this month, next month, so the devil can have a five year plan against you. This is why we need spiritual insight and intelligence to fight the devil. Whatever is happening to you now, but you don't believe it, it is for your, it is at your own cost. There is a personality, there is a power responsible for it. So what is happening to you is just a report card of what is it what it is it is reporting to you what a rod is doing behind the scene. They want you fired, they want you divorced, they want you to die. And they projected a sickness in your body. But as you are watching right now, if you are sick, I pray for you. I command that sickness to disappear, to melt, to check out of your body. Some of you, you know your enemies. 
You have been told your grandmother is responsible. You have been told your sister is responsible. You have been told your friend is responsible. But you have decided to keep quiet and you thought it was holiness, it was foolishness. Unless you rise up and say, enough of this nonsense. I want my life. I want my health. I want my job. I want my promotion. I want my papers. Whatever is stopping me to enter my next level as I pray, receive the judgment of God and die. Kabako zato ya kimanaha. Liga brado sele bebebe zala baba ba sakado 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 rebebra kozato jema hando mekoski baba ba de rada brekosa liga baba ba raga baba ba la brakozato jebebe. Imagine the Bible says, "Do not be ignorant of the schemes of the devices of the enemy. Do not be ignorant. He can deploy your friend to work against you." You can deploy your mother to work against you. But whosoever is carrying an evil word, may they be scattered by fire. May God make a way for you to escape the snare of the fire. As the bad have escaped, you know why you're not escaping? But you're now escaping. Whatever and wherever they have bound you, I command tonight as we pray, may you escape, escape that sickness, escape that sickness. As I am praying right now, the Lord is whispering to me right now. I hear a whisper, I hear a whisper. The Lord whispered to me that right now, there's a, there's a person that is watching me right now. There's a person that is watching, is watching me right now. I want you to listen and to listen very careful. I heard the whisperings of Elohim from the corridors of heaven. And he said you need to speak to someone right now. You are, you are here, you are watching me right now. And they have written you a letter. There's a letter, there's a letter that has been written to you. And this letter has to do with, 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 um, with dismissal from this letter, it has to do with dismissal from letter. It has to do with something like hearing. But the purpose of that hearing is to, is to dismiss you from your work. If you are there, I want you right now. If you are there, I want you right now to call me. You are listening right now, right? But they've written you a letter. And this coming week, you are going for a hearing. That has to do with your, 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 your being fired from that work. They've written you a letter. And you are going. In, you are going for a meeting, and this meeting is next week. This week, this week, this meeting is this coming week. If you are there, I want you to call me right now. I'm seeing this person. I heard the whispering of the Lord, and the Lord said, "You need to pray for this person. We need to cancel. We need to cancel. It's not just. It's not just a dismissal. It is a projection from the corridors of darkness that intends to destroy your life. But I will stand on your behalf in prayer." I will stand on your behalf in prayer. You will not be fired from that job. You will not be fired from that job. Whoever intends to fire you, I meant you are escaping. The Lord told me to tell you that you are expecting. And if you are there, you are hearing me right now. I hear this, I hear this very clearly. The Lord said you need to pray for this one. They have received a letter. You have received a letter. And this letter has to do with you being fired. They have called you for a meeting. It's a hearing. It's a hearing. But the purpose of that hearing is to fire you. If you are there, I want you to call me right now. My number is there. I have pinned my number. I have pinned my number. If you are there, I want you to call me right now. I heard this very clear. And I need to pray for you right now. Mabrato salika baha. Lika baba bosena akhoski vahadena. Ia baradoski vano baradina anta la babush. Ika baba bosanto. Jale kabado salin anta la bababosa iya kababosa the God that reveals to redeem Father I thank you that someone is escaping 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 in the name of Jesus I command you to escape the snare of the foiler I command you to escape the snare of the foiler that's my number then listen I hear this very clear. There's a person that is watching me right now as we are praying. And the Lord said, you need to pray for this one. You have, you have received a letter. And this letter, has to, it has to do with a hearing. And this hearing is next, is this coming week. You are supposed to go for a hearing. And the hearing, the purpose of that hearing is to tell you that we have yet enough of you. 
we can no longer work with you. If you know you are there, you are watching, I want you to call me right now. We need to cancel that. The Lord says this is a projection from the altar. That does not want you. This does, this does not want you. It's an attack. It's an attack over your life. And the, the devil has made it a point that he's going to fire you from your work. It is not going to happen. In the name of Jesus, it is not going to happen. In the name of Jesus, it is not going to happen. In the name of Jesus, right now, right now, it is not going to happen. I command, I negate the purposes of the devil in your life. I command the enemy to be defeated in your life. The devil is a loser. I want you to put him in his rightful position. He's a loser. And that is his permanent position. He's a loser. I declare and I decree for you. You will not be fired. Mm. You will not be fired. Mm. Kabako salababa rekos kalababadi rika brakozato ja parakosa italababa neka ba rekosalina anta lababa bose riko parado salababa. And the Bible says, and the prayers were made. Peter was in prison. And the church prayed without ceasing. And because of the prayers of the church, because of the prayers of the church, because of the prayers of the church, Peter was released. I want you to pray today and until God releases an angel on your behalf to give you divine assistance. Daniel was in prayer for 21 days and the answer was resisted. There was a demonic interruption in the realm of the spirit. But your altar has resisted the manifestation of that answer. The altar has resisted the manifestation of the job. The altar has resisted the manifestation of your prayers and the expectations of your prayers. But today we command by the Spirit of God divine assistance. May the Lord release the angel that is needed to give you assistance in this battle that you are going through. In the name of Jesus. But there's a power. There was a demonic resistance. The Bible says, and the prince of Persia resisted the answer of Daniel. But Daniel understood the mystery of prayer. He persisted in prayer. He insisted on prayer to, until an angel was deployed to give him assistance. I want you to pray today. Whatever you are going through, may the Lord release that angel that will give you divine assistance in that battle. In the name of Jesus! I pray for you right now. I pray for you right now. Whatever you are going through, may the Lord give you divine assistance. May the Lord give you divine assistance. May the Lord give you divine assistance. As we are praying right now, I enter into your workplace. I come, I give you favor. I enter in your workplace. I give you favor. You will be favored both with men and with God. Favor is locating you right now. Ikabaro zato. Imana mahanu ya ki imana hasufa sahadush. Egrato barato zekina andala bahaso. Yeah, 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 yeah. Libra kova siva zije. Liga bababos. Liga brado salabababos. Rate, 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 rakos kima maha. Rato preko zuva hazina andala bababos. In the name of Jesus. Now, we want to read it. It is Joshua chapter 6. Joshua chapter 6 says, Now Jericho was straightly shut. Listen to this. Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. Because of the children of Israel. None went out. And none came in and the lord said unto joshua hey let's let us do it with the first scripture now jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of israel none went out and none came in so jericho yaka yaka the reason why jericho was shut was because of the children of Israel. Huh? Because it was you approaching that opportunity and the, and 
that opportunity closed. Kuna mikana yakapo farachete. It was it is kuna ku zuni zai tika pesa ba wana shibudi ra. But the moment it was you approaching that opportunity, it was closed because of because it was you. Kuna shuru shuru number mira chete kana wewe washika. Ula shika pata nzima kuni awa ni five pa basa. You are now on twenty five. I don't know on twenty four because number five in here. It was completely shut because of the children of Israel. So the reason why Jericho was shut was not because of anything. It was because it did. the reason why it stayed. It is because the person who has been marked for promotion is you, and the opportunity has been closed. I pray for you. Whatever was closed because you are approaching. Whatever was 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 closed because the opportunity was made available to you to to make it in this life, and that opportunity was closed and shut because of you. I command every door the enemy is closed because it was you about to enter. Let that door be broken, and I give you access in the name of Jesus. I give you access in the name of Jesus. Access granted in the name of Jesus. Any door that is closed. Because it was you going into the next level, and they closed the door. They said, "Not this one. This one must not excel. This one must not marry. This one must not have money. This one must not prosper. This one must not know God." Any door the devil is shut because it was you approaching. Let that door be opened right now. Let that door be opened right now. Kuna mika na inongo varachete. You know what? There's a business that is giving people money. The moment you get the capital for that business, business owners are cheaper money, and you sink. The reason why you sink is because it is you. All others are making it, but when it comes to you, everything is completely shut. You you have gone to school with all your schoolmates that are making it. All your schoolmates are making it, but when it comes to you, the door is shut. Have you seen that? Where everyone is doing well except for you. Because it is you, the doors will be closed, and they know this one must not enter. Whosoever is vowed, whatever power that is vowed that you will not enter into the next level of your life, I give you access to that door. The name of Jesus, access granted. Access granted. Access granted. The name of Jesus. Now, everyone is. Everyone is doing what you are doing, and some of them are making money. Some of them are doing very well with the same things that you are doing. But as for you, you are not making it. You have started a business with your friends, and all of them are doing well except for you. A door has been closed because it was your turn to enter. I pray for you. I pray for you. May that door be opened in the name of Jesus. Any altar. Behind the scene, responsible to shut doors when it is your turn to enter. May that order be teared down in the mighty name of Jesus. Kabara kos ina kabara din akosa lika baso levrato barakos kanina akrato barakos shakabaha. Yeah, someone is entering right now. As you as you enter, even next week Monday, I declare testimonies. You know what? You have labored so much, and everyone that you have labored with, they have been promoted, except for you. You have been serving faithfully in that company for years, and you you were marked for a promotion, but your altar rose up against you, and as if you don't exist. But those that are even junior to you, they have been promoted because the door has been shut because it was you who was a. For you, may that door be opened. May that end. May that opportunity for you to excel be opened. Any opportunity that you have lost, I command that opportunity to manifest again. You will enter in the name of Jesus. You will enter in the name of Jesus. Every you give them ideas. With your ideas, they make it. With your ideas, they make it. But the one you yourself, the one that is advising you, are 
are failing. The door has been closed because it is you. I pray. I pray. Alika Bahasush. Emanaka Babasia Kuzatu. Elika bara ke maniva saliva do le cosa kadim atla baba bo sele dege dege de lika baba ba ratos kadaba lipa baba ba so jalina anta la baba bo santo yikala baba bo is someone getting this one it only closes when it is it has to do with you huh? you are like a bridge huh? we need to say bait bridge those that have been to south africa if you go through the road, if you go through via the road, yeah, there's Bait Bridge, border post, there's a bridge there. Bridge in the area of Zimbabwe, Arizeo, South Africa. But what's another kind of South Africa? I don't for a nipple. What's another kind of Zimbabwe? I don't for a nipple. But you are silly kind of someone is like that. Whosoever wants to go high, they go through you. But if it is your turn, they deny you. You are denied. I pray for you today. May the God we save today, may that God open your doors. La mena ko bako saleke de barata la kaba baba ragada gada ragada gada rababa 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 ragede ragede ragada 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 rababa baba baba ragada gada ragada gada ragada gada ragada gada ragada gada ragada gada ragada gada. I command the walls of Jericho to fall down for you. In the name of Jesus, may access be granted. Now let's look at verse 2. I am Asuf. Verse 2 says, And the Lord said unto Joshua, <laughs> Listen, they shut. After they shut that, ah. Someone is to get this. Someone is to get this. Someone, if it means I'm going to minister to one person this night and the life of that person be changed, let that person be you. Because, listen, the, the walls, the opportunity was closed because it was you approaching. But I want you to listen. After they closed the door, after they closed the promotion, after they closed everything that we were supposed to have access to, this is what the Lord has to say to you today. He says on verse 2 of chapter 6 of Joshua, He says, And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, huh? see, I have given into thine hand Jericho and the king thereof and the mighty men of valor I will just finish it. We will continue next week from this scripture. Now, Jericho is completely shut up. And Joshua and the people of God want to pass, want, they want to find passage through Jericho. And they've closed Jericho. And then the Lord comes after the closure of Jericho. After the denial of that promotion that you were looking for. After that, we regret to inform you that we are not going to consider you. Uh, you have failed the interview. Then the Lord comes after that and says, See, I have given you that job. See, I have given you that marriage. See, I have given you the king. See, I have given you the promotion. See, I have given you the city. Hey! Someone tonight, they have been denying you for all these years, for all these months. But today I want you to know that the Lord is saying, open your eyes. See, the same job that they've denied you, the same promotion that they've delayed, I have given it already to you. Possess. Possess. And the Lord says you will possess. Now, Jericho is Varro. Marino Varro. I want to do something to you that makes me God. Because I am only God when I do that which you cannot do for yourself. Then he says, when there's no way, I become the way. Then he says, when there's no light, I am the light. Then he says, Joshua, see. Huh? Before you can possess, it is a law of possession. Before you possess, you need to see what you are going to go, what you are going to possess. Before you are promoted, you need to see your you need to see yourself promoted. Before you are healed, you need to see yourself healed. Unless you see it, you cannot possess it. 
So the first thing that God says to Joshua is, See, I have given Jericho in your hands. And all the men of valor, in Je including the king, who has instructed the closure of the seat, I've given them in your hands. So what is God saying? Fight! That job that you were denied, fight! That man that is running away from me, I should have a small, can I smell house? Fight! The issue is not about the smell house. The issue, I, 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 listen to me, I'm not talking of the small house. I'm talking of the smell house. S M E double L, smell house. Your man has left you for the smell house. And you think the smell house is your problem. I want you to attack in prayer. Say, I, I command my husband back. I command my promotion back. I command my children to rise up again. I will not give birth to Anna Kumajere in the mighty name of Jesus. Rise up and fight. For the Lord has given you. Unless you cannot capture it. Unless it cannot be captured in your imagination, you cannot have it. Kalika Basosh. Wakenda ku interview ya why is you did very well. And they said we regret. Akuna Basu. You knew you were marked for that promotion. You even had people discussing it behind the scene. And they did not see you. And the next thing, they have not given you the promotion. Ha! Let the walls fall down. Whatever is standing between you and your promotion, I arrest it. Let, that, then let those walls fall down in the name of Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. Paparados salina akuskata. Me, ma, 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 Kuna na mai la kasha la pana. Unoto ni ala kunzi kuti amai pane wan. Because wana wako wese wa kuto zika na yo. Kunzi mai we marumba wa wa mai wa pa wa marumba. Ah wa mai we pamba. Wana wako wa kuto zika wa mazai wana wako a zika. Chilo zika wa unoto ni zvone ne mabasa e wana wako. May the Lord have mercy on you. I declare and I decree. Your children will not disappoint you again. And not you, it is an attack on your life. It's not an attack on your children. It's an attack on your life. They say she has given birth to children that carry greatness. But don't worry. We will frustrate the destiny of those children. And she will die of BP and hypertension. That hypertension has come as, an, as a projection. Because of what you are going through, I pray for you. I command that hypertension to be uprooted in your body. A lot of people are suffering from depression and all these sicknesses the devil is using as, as weapons of destruction. I command that depression to leave you now. In the name of Jesus. It's a demon. Don't try to explain all these things. Try to, to, to explain them psychologically. You will die. That thing is a demon. Command it out of your life. They loved Jericho using depression. They will lock your life using sickness. They will lock your life using anti-marriage. They will lock your life using failure. They will lock your life using limitation. They will lock your life using embargoes on your life. And you've got all these physical explanations to explain your situation. That thing is spiritual. Command it out. Let the walls fall down. Imagine being a mother. Watching your children growing, and all of a sudden your children are doing very well, but all of a sudden something enters into them, they begin to misbehave. And you no amount of counseling, no amount of speak talking to them will bring them down. It is only prayer, and prayer was made without ceasing, and Peter was released. I declare a release of whatever the devil has laid his hands on that belongs to you. We are only left with five minutes. On this five minutes, I want you to pray. I want you to say, wherever the devil has put his hand on my life, in my family, I command his hands off my life. Your hands off my life. Your hands off my life. 
husband, your hands off my job, your hands off my children. Wherever you put your hands, I command your hands off, your hands off, your hands off. I command the burden over my, my shoulders to be lifted, 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 lifted. I command the yoke upon my neck to be broken. Any yoke they've used to yoke you. So it's like a good Mushati Shifuza Mombe. Can't you remember Mombe? Can I lose the control of Ushirima? No chance a joke, eh? Joke, really. What's soon going be true? No joke. When you do that, you are able to control them. What are you going to do? Because they are now in charge. Kuna muna, akai swapa yoke ye poverty. You have been trying, but they have yoked you together with poverty. They have yoked you together with anti-marriage. They have yoked you together with sicknesses. Every time you want to rise up, a sickness is projected. Every time you want to make, you want to do something, a sickness is projected because it's a yoke. And the Lord says, only the anointing shall break the yoke. I command the yoke over your neck. That yoke, let it be broken. The yoke of failure. The yoke of sickness, the yoke of anti-marriage, the yoke of limitation, the yoke upon your finances that you do not reach. But no matter how much you try, it's a yoke. I command that yoke broken in the name of Jesus. Hope you have been blessed. I want you to continue to pray. The Bible says pray without ceasing. Men ought always to pray. I want you to know that it is only it is prayer that can make God look at you. You might be going through a lot of things right now. Financial bankrupts. There is nothing moving in your life. God has given you a weapon. One of the weapons is prayer. Use that time. Use your knees. Close your door. And begin to pray. Sharing your problems with people will not solve your problems. Manage to pray and tell God how bad your situation is, and then He will come to rescue you. May the Lord rescue you. May the Lord make a way for you. May the Lord command His shine, His light to shine upon you. May the glory of the Lord rise upon you. May all your enemies be scattered and frustrated in their pursuit against your life. Whatever you lay your hands to do from this day, may it prosper. Whatever you lay your hand from today, may it prosper. I pray for that promotion that they've denied and delayed. I pray for its release. Whatever is holding your miracle in the realms of the spirit, I manifest by the spirit of the Lord in that realm and I bring down your miracle. I bring down your possession. I bring down your divine health. In the name of Jesus. May the good Lord protect you. May the good Lord protect you. Do not forget. Do not forget to join us. From Monday. We have got a prayer program. It's a fast and prayer. It's a prayer and fasting program. That is going to run for seven days. It is a seven days of fire. Against every witchcraft. Wherever his craft has stretched its hands in your life, we will be praying against it. Don't forget to join. You can like my page. You will follow for the page is Apostle IK. It will be for prayers. Someone has to, after these prayers, you must testify. If there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. Be blessed. Be blessed. I bless you. I release your blessing upon your life. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you so, so much. So, this is the end of our program. We meet again next week. For, that, for those that are on my prayer program, you can join. You can join me on my page for the prayers. They will start the same time, 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Same time on my page. It is prayer only. It is for prayers so that you are equipped, so that you fight intelligibly. May God bless you and release you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So for those that have been watching Ishia NST, we, 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 are, we, are, we are 
there's a, there's a pro there's progress i'll give you a full update on monday i'll give you a full update on monday but for those that have been interceding for him please continue to intercede we are hoping for the best yeah, there are some results that have come they've they've come out we wait to see on monday and then i'll give you at least a detailed uh, a detailed a detailed uh, feedback on his issue but otherwise there has been progress there has been progress and we thank god for that progress and we thank god for all those that are standing behind the scene you're hoping and supporting may god richly bless you see you shalom